Hey everyone and welcome back to our Shadowlands Alpha class preview series, this time on my old main, the Hunter. Yep, my old main, so definitely one that I care about, and I've got to say, this is going to be a strange enough video. Hunters have been in a strange spot for quite some time. I mean, just look at these numbers, showing how much their specs were played in Nihilotha. Yeah, it's a bit wild, so clearly hunters are in need of dire change in Shadowlands. And Shadowlands does deliver on that, but in a decidedly mixed fashion. Of course, before we hop into each individual spec, we do first have to talk about the baseline changes that all hunters will experience in this expansion. Hunters, like mages, lost a lot of the hunter when they moved into the spec focus of Legion. Now, as promised in the Great Unpruning, this is being reversed to a degree. However, hunter was changed more than almost any other right in Legion, with survival becoming a melee spec and marksmanship becoming a lone wolf. These changes have not been rolled back to restore hunter identity. Instead, they're getting a pittance of useful abilities back. Arcane Shot, Kill Shot, and Hunter's Mark are combat abilities available to all specs. Then Tranquilizing Shot, Scare Beast, and Eyes of the Beast are utility being returned. In addition, a larger stable, currently 60, uh, is there for your pets on the Alpha. Now, let's just get straight to it. A Hunter's Mark needs to serve some actual purpose. Right now, it is purely frustrating and it's not even worth using in many situations. A simple 5% damage is not worth a GCD when mobs die in 10 abilities or less. It could have been potentially fun for target swapping, but not without it having any form of interaction. As an example for Marksman, it could act like a mini version of uh, Destro's Havoc, right? Setting up a primary target so that secondary target shots could ricochet to the marked target. That would maybe fix Marksmanship's two-target weakness and make swapping to the priority targets with careful aim really rewarding. But a flat 5% damage increase that costs a GCD just leaves it feeling pointless, outside of tracking stealth targets in PvP or, of course, single target raid damage. Removing it from the GCD, I mean, it would be nice, but it wouldn't really help because it's entirely fire and forget. Honestly, I think it's a relic of the past, and if they're going to put it back in, it should be much more carefully considered in terms of its design and what it's actually accomplishing for the gameplay of the Hunter. So there's that. The other core changes I'll say are fine though. Trank Shot and Scared Beast, they have niche combat uses, and Eyes of the Beast might uh, just be fun to play with, so that's all okay. Kill Shot being class wide is actually a really nice addition, even if it doesn't make as much sense for, say, Survival Hunter. Arcane Shot is a peculiar one though. Its core to marksmanship currently isn't used by Survival, and it doesn't make sense for BM. Survival needs a ranged weapon equipped to use it, and I mean, they're not going to have a ranged weapon equipped because they're survival, they're in melee, and then both survival and beast mastery, they've got core focus spenders that they will want to use instead. Now, it currently does out damage BM's Cobra Shot because it's cheaper and deals arcane damage, but I can't imagine that's actually intended from Blizz. Really, though, it just doesn't serve much purpose. That's not necessarily a problem, but it is just a bit bland for a core ability. Hunters, I mean, they are still just very different from their pre-Legion form, and the gameplay part of this on pruning just isn't really working out for them. Anyway, with that stuff covered, let's get into the specific specs. So then, Beast Mastery. They haven't really gotten any core changes. The spec was pretty much deemed fine as it is. Talents have been updated, though, and they're actually looking pretty good. The Sound of Blood has been changed to refresh two charges of Barbed Shot. If my understanding is correct, this will be a major talent choice in the row because a triple stack Frenzy on command and a strong safety net is going to be huge, especially if Thrill of the Hunt is taken for the crit. I mean, if you think about it, like Primal Instincts, that was a strong Azerite trait and only refreshed one stack stack with the much less frequent aspect of the wild. So, there's that going on. Next up, Spitting Cobra. That has been moved to replace Venomous Bite, although now the Cobra is summoned after Bestial Wrath, with the duration being extended for each Cobra shot that's used during the Bestial Wrath. It hasn't been fixed. The Cobra still has a 25-yard range, making it a bit harder to use effectively. The new Bloodshed takes Cobra's old place, and it's a nice addition, a one-minute cooldown that buffs pet damage. Especially that's good when you're lining it up with, say, your Bestial Wrath. 
Beast Mastery does seem to be a solid, but I would say mild improvement over its battle for Azeroth state. Their talents still do have some fundamental issues, though. I mean, Bloodshed doesn't seem to impact animal companion damage, and the last row has some very clear AoE versus single target differences, which always just sort of muddles up the talent choices. I would say, though, that BM is in a good enough spot. It's got a pretty clear fantasy, a pretty fun rhythm, and Sense of Blood as a talent can reduce some of the frustration of dropping frenzy stacks because of you getting bad RNG. Now that said, they still will have talent balance issues because of some of the more interesting interactions here being quite desirable, and there are certainly more exciting changes that could have been made to the spec, but I mean, yeah, it is it is solid. It gets the sort of easy to learn but hard to master nature down well enough, thanks to the cooldown reduction on kill command and the min-maxing of frenzy. It's a simple core loop that actually does have plenty of room for error, and the talents do give you some extra buttons to change up priorities for slightly different feeling gameplay. This may actually still just be, though, the default spec for hunters in Shadowlands. Next, though, it's about to get a lot less positive. Okay, Marksmanship Hunter, and I mean, I get it, the carrying ability is kind of cool, but I mean, look, I played a Marksmanship Hunter since, like, since TOC back in Wrath, and man, they, they did it dirty in BFA, in my opinion, and it's still not in a great stage here. So in terms of core changes, there is some good stuff, actually, right? There's a flat focus regen increase, which does help with that just extremely focused, starved feel that it always had in BFA. Then there's kill shot. I mean, that being there is a nice addition, especially with the dead eye talent, where landing a kill shot recharges aim shot faster for a few seconds. And then there's other things like binding shot is baseline, and the talent replacing it makes enemies rooted by it do less damage to the hunter afterwards. Then volley. I mean, this is good. It's now an active ability replacing piercing shot, and um, so it's a ground targeted AoE that activates uh, trick shots for six seconds. So that's cool. Then Hunter's Mark, that's baseline. So Chimera Shot is now in its place. And then Master Marksman now adds 25% crit chance to aim shot instead of making the next arcane slash multi shot free. So with all that, what's it like to play? Well, I've still got to say I'm not a fan. On the uh, additions, Chimera Shot uh, looks like it's supposed to restore focus, but doesn't. The other talents in that row provide more focus, but I think they're pretty bad, to be honest with you. The rotation, just to me, doesn't really support using multiple steady shots in a row. That's never really felt like it slots in well. Didn't in BFA, still doesn't now. And Streamline just, uh, you know, does provide more focus, but it takes longer. Personally, I just find that flow is the problem here. Like, it doesn't feel awful, but once the novelty of ricocheting your aim shots about the place gets old, the frustration of, say, wasting uh, precise shots to get more aim shots off just feels worse. I think that rapid fire and steady shot either need to be reworked or just improved massively. The worst thing, though, is the identity problem. Marksmanship still combines fantasies without having anything solid to go off. Moving from aim shot into rapid fire doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Like, it's still trying to blend this whole idea of you being this patient, focused sniper, you know, the like that, and then this sort of like Legolas fantasy elf who's emptying a quiver in seconds, and those just feel incompatible to me. I just don't think they work in a fantasy perspective. And then there's also Lone Wolf. I mean, making it so that having a, an active pet feels like a DPS loss, that does feel awkward, I, I think, and I think uh, that should probably just be rethought by Blizzard. I mean, just design-wise, it's, it's like it's fundamentally hard to ensure that MM sort of doesn't feel super agile, but also is not just a physical caster, right? It's not like identity problem. I think the Blizzard should actually lean into one or the other, because right now the spec just feels a bit confused, and it doesn't help that players who like it are punished for liking it. BM is usually just the better choice because of the pet passives and the utility, as well as being entirely mobile and usually stronger. To make it worse, the talents aren't very balanced. Master Marksman and Careful Aim look like they could be the only real choices for most of the expansion again, based off the raw strength and the ease of use there's no focus cost, then careful aim, that's in the same row as barrage and explosive shot, which, you know, are clearly just all the AoE focused talents. A volley is a really strong AoE option, but it competes with calling the shots and lock and load. So yeah, the talents are just messy in my opinion, and basically I think this is another spec that feels okay for the people who like it, which if you actually look
look through the numbers, I mean, just look at how many people have actually played this spec and raiding scenarios and stuff throughout the last expansion, and it's not that many people who really like this. Go onto the Hunter Discord, and it is not a particularly popular spec. And, I mean, yes, the extra focus does improve it over Battle for Azeroth, but I honestly think this needs, like, at least one or two very substantial changes to its core in order for it to feel really good. I think Blizzard basically have just been way too conservative in this one. I think they needed to go far further in making this actually feel better, and I just don't really believe that... I don't believe that there's really a strong fantasy that they're hitting right now, and I also don't really have confidence that they've actually got a strong direction of where they want to take this spec. The next up, Survival, as sadly expected, hasn't really changed. It's just still in that weird place where it doesn't really fit any niche or serve any purpose. It's basically just a worse version of Beast Mastery. All that's really changed is some rebounced talents and the core hunter additions that we already covered. At its core, survival is just a weird spec. I think Mongoose Bite should either be baseline or be removed entirely because it's too dominant, right? They just need to stick with a choice there. Putting it in as a talent while being such a core part of how the spec really feels just reeks of indecision. Then comparatively, Tip of the Spear and Flanking Strike just don't really do anything of value. Really, without Wildfire Infusion or Mongoose Bite, this spec is just keeping up one dot and pressing three other buttons on cooldown. Kill Command resets have got the potential to overcap focus pretty quickly, which is also frustrating without having one or two charges baseline. This spec, if you actually, again, like with marksmanship, go through the numbers, it's severely underplayed, so it needs to be looked at in a deeper way than it has been now. This is basically just ensuring it's selected by a tiny percentage of players again. And this idea of a melee hunter, it either needs to be reconsidered or discarded. Because I don't even think Blizzard understood what people talked about when they said Melee Hunter, because, just a newsflash for you, Melee Hunters never existed. It was just that when you were in survival, you had a few more things you could do whenever an enemy was inside your minimum ranged uh, distance, so that you couldn't use your ranged attacks. Right? Like, that's it. The majority of players liked having those melee options as a hunter back when the dead zone existed, and that's something that they they then removed from the game. I mean, there are potentially cool things here, but that's when looking at the Rexar style hunter rather than this sort of strange mixture that they've currently got. And I mean, in that case, I'd actually suggest Blizzard take some inspiration from Final Fantasy XIV's Red Mage. While it's fundamentally a ranged mage, uh, it builds mana by casting in, uh, in ranged and then spends it on a melee combo, having tools to get in and out between those two states. Maybe alternating between throwing axes or using a crossbow to set up a target and then harpooning in for the kill with your pet, maybe that would be a stronger feeling here than just having a couple of ranged abilities while standing in melee. There are some other fundamental problems as well. Coordinated Assault is a super boring damage cooldown as it stands, and uh, I mean, they could basically do anything and make it more interesting. It purely feels uncreative, I would say. And then, as was the case in BFA, the most interesting part of this spec is Wildfire Infusion. And it's, I mean, it's still a little bit messy, but I do think it's like the one shining good thing here. It has the potential to basically be the most fun thing that this spec has got going on, and that's really it. There's not really much else to say here. It's BFA survival, but right now, of course, without Essences or Azerite. It will eventually get some new stuff in Shadowlands, and maybe some Legendaries would make it feel really cool, but based on what it is just as a baseline spec on its own, yes, I would say it is disappointing. So yeah, there we go. Um, at the end of the day, Hunter has seen some positive changes. However, I think, as is very obvious here, I don't think it's anywhere near enough in terms of changes. Uh, I, you know, this was my old main. It's not going to be my new main. No, it's, it's just not. The only spec I would be happy to play for an expansion based on the core here is Beast Mastery, but the other two are still plagued by the same issues from, uh, from BFA. And while I don't think they need a full rework, I do think they need some fundamental issues addressed. The forums and the class discords are full of feedback from veteran players on both feel and balance, and while I'm sure the design team see that stuff, it certainly seems like they don't really feel it or listen to it or pay much attention. I think they should op open up a dialogue there, maybe ask some specific uh, questions to those communities, maybe invite some of the leading community members there in the Hunter uh, side of things for some more targeted feedback. I mean, those players don't speak for everyone, of course, but they do speak for plenty, especially when they're the people who are writing the guides and basically end up curating what a massive amount of players end up taking as gospel. 
So yes, Hunters, you know, they, I think they've had a bit of an identity crisis since it seemed like in Warlords of Draenor they were going to do really large changes, but then they stepped back from that and did minimal changes. Then, you know, BF, or then Legion just sort of made all the specs uh, very different and a bit weird, some good, some bad. I mean, like, yeah, I really did just prefer, like, say, I mean, this sounds a bit weird, but Legion marksmanship over, uh, you know, over BFA marksmanship. So it's just weird. This like identity of the hunter is, I mean, such a, such a major core thing that hunters have been talking about for so long. And it very much seems like we, uh, we're reaching no definitive conclusion here. The bizarre winding road of what a hunter even is, is uh, still continuing to be trodden down by the lot of us. So let me know, what do you think? Are you happy with the current state of hunters? Would you like to see different changes to MM and SV? Do let me know. Thank you very much for watching this video, and with that, I'll see you next time.